we will be hearing from Alan Yu. So Alan, can you please get into that virtual limousine? Alan's from Lavo Hydrogen Storage Technology, and will be talking to us about the world's first modular long tenor hydrogen energy storage system. So uh, Alan, can we see you? Yes, we can. Excellent. Can you hear us? Yes. Fantastic. Uh, clear. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, thanks. Um, I'm Alan Yu. I'm, the, I'm passionate about developing the sustainable living and the circular economy powered by the uh, clean techs. I'm the co-founder of Providence Asset Group, an ESG dedicated investment firm, but, uh, and uh, I'm also the CEO of Labo. Uh, as you probably we go to the next slide. Uh, as we are facing the challenge time during the COVID, uh, we are seeing the two epidemics, one of the COVID-19, uh, COVID virus and one of fear. I think the fear is, care serves us uh, and help us when it keeps us safe, but uh, a fear unmanaged can cause us to worry beyond what is reasonable. So um, it, it can contribute to what I heard someone called the COVID blues. So what can we do to shake off uh, the COVID blues and deal with the adversity and, and uh, set back? A big part of the recovery is uh, to build the clean energy resilience. This is uh, where each of us can um, have a measure of influence. Often a time of disruption, we don't have the certainty. But choosing to build your own clean energy solution can help us to see a better light and help us to be more effective at the COVID recovery. Imagine at a rural area um, where there is a weak greater connection. If we can use four liters of, um, maybe back to the previous slide. Yeah. Uh, if we can use four liters of water and the sunlight to power the average household for up to three days, that's Lavo can do. The Lavo system connects to the solar PV on the DC side uh, of a standard long resin hybrid inverter. It utilizes the leasing battery in addition to the hydrogen storage system to provide an ancillary support and a discharge faster. One Lavo storage uh, unit uh, can store electricity for 40 kilowatts hour with a 20,000 times discharge and the charges circle, uh, that's equivalent to 30 years lifespan um, as compared to, you know, uh, you see the traditional leasing battery is about a 10 years lifespan. So that, um, so the extent of the lifespan and the, the large electricity uh, capacity, storage capacity can help us to, um, to develop the um, increase the peace of mind for owners rely on battery supply and potentially can develop the true zero emission uh, off grid solution to low uh, energy bill and the reliance on um, and reduce our reliance on grid power and also provide because a single uh, level unit can store a 40 kilowatts that also be able to um, prove, improve the space efficiency and the simplicity because we don't need to install multiple diesel batteries. Lavo uh, also focuses on the recycling and the circular economy. Lavo's hydrogen hydride is a recyclable metal alloy uh, that can be reused. It will reduce the landfill and uh, toxic waste produced from the used diesel batteries which is an uh, alternative technology, which we're proud of. The extended lifespan and uh, capacity will lower the reliance on um, non-renewable energy we need to take from the grid and uh, reduce the carbon emission and will reduce the general waste from uh, non-recyclable components. The last, I think uh, everyone is interested about the economic impact because the increased lifespan and the capacity is able to help us to enhance the investment on return and uh, reduce the payback period. Maybe next slides. The technology is well advanced. Uh, uh, we spend, the technology is developed by USW after 80 years um, uh, testing in the laboratory environment. Uh, we're so um, proud that we um, confident that going to introduce a commercial ready unit in the middle of November this year. And uh, we, we have an ambitious uh, expansion plan to uh, build the most advanced manufacturing capacity 
in Australia and ramp up our production capacity by 10,000 level units towards the uh, end of 2024. So level is not just uh, can use for the res uh, household. It also can extend to different uh, sort of uh, application environment. This next slide. So uh, we are fortunate to working with GHD as our dedicated uh, strategy partner uh, to be able to deliver a level solution to cater for complicated deployment. Uh, it, level can also be used in the uh, ecology, uh, in the mining industry as a substitute of the diesel generator. It also can use as a, for the utility supply and uh, um, as an off-grid solution. Solution. So, um, partner with DHT in, enable us not just to deliver a simple product. It's more so be able to deliver a complicated uh, level solution to cater for different purposes. Next slide, please. Uh, we are we are assembled in the uh, level uh, corporate governance and also the corporate structure. We are uh, aim to list uh, the level in ASX this year as a first uh, hydrogen tech concept, uh, which we're going to introduce to the market. So we have a uh, um, really experienced uh, diversified board members and also the senior management team. Next slide. Yeah, so we have a few industry partners. Um, GHD is our strategic engineering partner. We also got a, a Providence and a USW as a cornerstone uh, to support a level. Uh, we also have a few strategic industry partners to cover the whole value chain, H2 store, DNI, and NASDAQ, and NAFTA. Last, um, maybe uh, next slide, please. Next. So today we have this uh, um, fortunate opportunity to present uh, to everyone about a level. What are we looking for uh, today is going to connect uh, with uh, people uh, uh, who wants to use level and uh, maybe trying to uh, deploy the level solution in different uh, complicated uh, environment. Uh, so that's about uh, the level. Stay safe and uh, build the, your clean energy resilience. Here's my contact if you're interested. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Alan. Uh, please make sure that if uh, you're interested uh, that you reach out to Alan either here in the foyer or marketplace or, or online afterwards via his contact details.